not sure that this was the best part of his work. In any case, now he's turned 180 degrees and he's come out the other side, returning to drawing and painting and creating some of the simplest and most restrained images of his career. You can see how far he's travelled back by looking at images of his mother in paint, in photography, and then in simple brush and wash. Today he's working in watercolours, painting directly without prior underdrawing with as few brush strokes as possible. Elegance, simplicity, restraint. Whether it be summer rain, or the garden outside his studio, or a sketchbook of recent work in southern Spain. Let's have a look at some of these landscapes you've been working on. This is the sketchbook, you st one of the sketchbooks you start from, is it? I went to uh, Andalusia. Uh, oh, there we are. We're in Cordoba. Cordoba. Yeah, that's the great mosque in Cordoba. Yeah. Looks like an orchard, doesn't it? Yeah. One uh, palm grove. Fabulous yes. palm grove. I thought yeah. it was incredibly beautiful. Courtyards in Seville. Right. Uh, beginning to see the patterns. Uh, yes. That happened. Uh, this is then at the Alhambra. This is the Charles V's palace. Oh, right, yes. The, uh, are you moving directly with the brush, or, or do you use any... I don't see any pencil underdrawing, no, for instance. Brush. No, just brush. No, no okay. pencil, yeah. I just used a brush. I just yeah. had a big brush. There, the first thing I draw are these lines. Yeah. yeah. So that what you'd see Is your early on are just grey lines. You're simplifying, you're making... How do I make the space? But I deliberately, as I said, just took a big brush. Uh, four colours, and you start seeing. I didn't want to look through a camera. I looked through cameras for a long time. You did? Yeah. Yes, I did. And in the end, you're more aware of what's at the edges, what's, mm -hmm. what's not there. Mm -hmm. It's forced to be a certain kind of picture. I mean, that's Cordoba. Uh, yeah. I, thought, I thought it was unphotographable, actually, in a way. Well, you're pretty much right. I know, I've tried to photograph that in my amateurish way and it just comes out looking like a mess. Yeah. Also, when you're there, you notice the marvellous patterns that photography doesn't quite show you the mm -hmm. way you see them. Mm -hmm. Your eye sees the way different surfaces yes. have these patterns on. You don't get the thrill of this magnificent ceiling that's like... Oh. Yeah, it's like walking under a fantastic palm grove, isn't it? Yeah. It is. This kind of drawing is a feat of memory and concentration, of keeping the eye alive, of retaining curiosity. Now, Hockney's returning to East Yorkshire to look again at the landscape of his childhood. And I worked on the land in East Yorkshire, oh, 50 years ago. Yeah. Harvesting. On the oh, East. really? Oh, yeah. From school. Oh my God! You're the little boy in the corner of the constable. Yes, I was stooping <laughs> corn. I was stooping corn. I was in Yorkshire, driving from Bridlington to Weatherby all the time, mm. and I got fascinated. There's no hedges. It's big, like the Western United States. Mm -hmm. You can see a long. Just way. goes on forever. You can see a long, long mm. way. I might be using memory from ten minutes past, but I'm also using memory from fifty years past. Yeah. You paint it, you pick up big brushes, you paint it. I can now do that with incredible confidence. Mm. That oh, you should be able to, you yes. were born there, you brought yeah, yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah. You... Yeah. But you do it in painting. Yeah. You cannot photograph this, yes. it's not the same. Uh, it has to be painted. Fascinating. Well, there you go, David. You've got your work cut out once yes, again. Yes, I have. I have a big project. I have a big project coming up, and I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, you've always got a big project yeah, coming up. Yeah, I have. Yeah.
Uh, it's called the world, mate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>